Hello, folks. It's Mr. T with another not whiskey review. Or is it whiskey? Anyway, here with another review for the Malt and Mike and French shop. You may notice one glass empty, one is sitting there with something else in it. So, this is what we're doing. We're doing the Jack Daniels Gentleman Jack. It's actually brought over from me or brought over to me from the States by a, a friend who went over there about two years ago. I brought it back, cracked it open the other night, had a couple of little drinks out of it. But uh, yeah, it's only 40%. A bit poor, really. I would have expected the Yanks to like it a little bit stronger, but never mind. There we go. Jack Daniels. I usually drink Jack Daniels either with ice or with a colour flavoured beverage. Other colour flavoured beverages are available. If I've been out for the night, I've had several pints, or I just want something light that I can sip. That is not going to fill me of gas and have me running off to the loo every, you know, three sips. So anyway, Jack Daniels Gentleman Jack. 40% I said. And it's been, as I say, it's been over charcoal twice to kind of mellow the flavour out. Now, I've had a couple of sips of this this week. Uh, this glass and something very similar to that. And both results have been pretty similar. Now, I did earlier on today when I got home from work, try some of the Glen Cairn. It was raw. This was a lot smoother, a lot more open with flavour, a lot more open on the on the nose. This was raw, so you, you may hear. Yeah, I've got some lumps in there. I do like my bourbon with ice. Now and then, I say I'll have some cola in it. So here we go. What do I get in the nose? Remember those yellow foam bananas from a kid? That's in there. Bit of honey and a bit of dried raisiny type fruit. Uh, vanilla. Now, obviously, we're going to get vanilla because of the casks that it was produced in. It'd be American white oak casks. Smooth. Bit like Mr. T in the follicle department. Now, Although I do like that on its own, it doesn't have much of a finish. It's pretty, goes there and then it's like, bye. Yeah, it's like walking along top of a cliff and you get to that cliff and you just go, Poof. it just disappears. With lumps in, it kind of opens it just that little bit more, not much more. Again, we're still getting a little bit of honey. We're still getting a little bit of vanilla. Foam bananas has disappeared completely from what we had in the, that's a Glen Cairn, what's that? Mike, have we decided what we're gonna call this yet? I don't know. A scrumbler, maybe? A scrumbler? I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. Still got a little bit of vanilla. Def as I say, definitely no foam bananas. And maybe, maybe just still that little sweetness from a bit of dried fruit. watching that daft pigeon on my washing line. Yeah. Will you stop looking at me? We've had this pigeon come around for the past, well, since we had all this hot weather and it just sits either on our outside table looking at the kitchen 
or it sits in the washing line and peeks in the dining room window and say, like, go away. Bye then. It's gone. Where were we? Bourbon. And I do like when I'm sitting having a drink, whether it's a couple of beers in the house of me, me owner with the good lady. I like a bit of music, so if you can hear a bit of blues in the background, that's what it is. But yeah, I don't know what the finish is going to be like in this one. I taste it. Even though it's got a bit of what? A bit of water in it. It's still got a bit of burn in that glass. I do not like that glass for bourbon. No. That's much better. Still get the foamy bananas. Should we? I'm probably just going to kill it. Mike's probably not just going to put this on the internet. God, I'll well drink it how I like. I should cover that up with gaffer tape, really, like they do in the TV. Like they do in the BBC, because they're not allowed to advertise. <laughs> I'm getting lemon. Who'd have thought you'd put a proprietary brand of cola flavoured drink in your Jack Daniels and you'd get lemon? Well, call me Moses and part the sea. Hmm. That ain't bad. Should we try it in the uh, computer? Uh, Glen Cairn. That's a scrumbler. Get the lemon in here as well. Nah, I still prefer it in that. There we have it. A little waffle on about Jack Daniels, Gentleman Jack. You've probably learned Jack from this, to be honest. With that, Mr. T, aka the Whiskey Reaver, signing out and uh, come back for more. Done! Cut. To get rat assed. It's not what not. Boom. Chinese time. Please click subscribe, it really helps us when you do that. And click the bell so you never miss a new Triple M and Friends video.